every American, whether they're rich or poor, ought to be able to turn on their heat in the middle of a cold winter night. That's gotten more difficult thanks to Kamala Harris's energy policies. I believe that whether you're rich or poor, you ought to be able to afford a nice meal for your family. That's gotten harder because of Kamala Harris's policies. I believe that whether you're rich or poor, you ought to be able to afford to buy a house. You ought to be able to live in safe neighborhoods. You ought to not have your communities flooded with fentanyl. And that too has gotten harder with Kamala because of Kamala Harris's policies. The J.D. Vance hoax is over. <laughs> the media told you he was a creepy weirdo who offended women. But last night, Americans saw a polished, clean cut, mature young man. You know, the kind of guy a girl can take home to their parents. That's why the media smeared him, so you wouldn't get to know him. They told you Vance was a bad pick, just to discourage you. And now we know he's the perfect balance for the Trump ticket. Last night enlarged the Republican Party. Women, independents, they liked what they saw. Moderate Republicans loved Vance. People see Vance as the future. Vance's presentation gives fence sitters a sense of security because Trump had a little trouble picking personnel the first time around. Now there's evidence that Trump will surround himself with high quality people. And this goes without saying, but the base loved him, loved. He humanized wings of the Republican party, articulated the America first agenda exquisitely and even softened Trump if that was possible. Frank Luntz's focus group had Vance winning 12 to two 